The overarching goal of this procedure is to identify protein-protein interactions within a given proteome in a parallel, unbiased manner, which is not possible with other technologies. This is accomplished by first hybridizing an epitope-tagged protein of interest with the highly purified full-length functional protein library deposited in a coordinate plane on the surface of a microscope slide. Once the protein has reached equilibrium with each of its respective target proteins on the array, the unbound fraction is washed away, and the protein interactions are detected with a monoclonal antibody to the epitope conjugated to a fluorescent moiety using a standard microarray scanner. The resulting images are interlaced with information regarding the intensity of each feature with respect to bound protein and fluorescent signal. This information is extrapolated with the aid of the microarray analysis software to generate a list of intensity values for each feature on the array. The information regarding the protein-protein interacting pair can be exported to downstream bioinformatic analysis software to score the feature-specific data and identify protein-protein interactions between the protein of interest and the proteins on the microarray. The raw signal intensity data is compiled over two or more protein microarrays to account for inter- and intra-assay variation, and the data is normalized to score each of the interactions. The resulting output generates a target list of interacting proteins, which can be used to guide further interrogation of protein-protein interactions in vivo. Functional protein microarray was developed in Michael Snyder's lab over 15 years ago. Since then, there have been many successful applications of this technology due to its versatility in biochemical proteomic assays. This technique facilitates the study of protein interactions and modular signaling networks, as well as alternative...